As a filmmaker, I feel like Return to Me was really the first movie that helped me find my voice as a director. You know, previous to this movie, I had done a horror movie that had a much bigger crew, a little bit bigger budget. And it was one of those things I felt like because there was so much going on, I wasn't really able to discover my voice and play in the way that I wanted to. You know, we were very heavy on, you know, we had these big old cameras and big old things running. Uh, not that any of that was bad, but I felt like performance struggled a little bit more because we didn't have the time to really take to do it the right way and allow the actors to have moments to find truth within the scene. And so with Return to Me, we were very intentional to be a stripped down crew. You know, I DP'd and operated the camera so that I could be in relationship with the actors as they were going. You know, we did very minimal lighting. It was mostly natural light for this film in order to allow the actors to play and express. And we need to make sure that we're seeking truth in every scene as opposed to looking for pretty shots because we didn't have time or money to do both of those things. And so that's where a lot of times it was putting a light bulb and a light in a motel and just saying, we're filming the whole scene with this light bulb like this, you know? And thankfully I had lenses that opened up a lot so that we could explore that space and still get a lot of detail. But I would say this kind of improvisation, open-handed way of filmmaking has really inspired me and is a key aspect of what I love to do as a director and allow the actors to feel safe and try things that they wouldn't normally try.